Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa Deeperle. I've got my coffee here so that we can sit here and have a little chat. Um, we are going to compare end screens to the cards. And what does that mean, a card, you know, in, in your video? If you've, if you've never used them, you're brand new, I'm going to show you what both of them are. And the reason I'm doing this video is last week I did the video on end screens and how it will help you increase your views. Now, before we go any further, you're probably thinking, well, who are you to talk about views? Because you're only getting like 100 to 600, you know, right away. And I'm going to give you the reason for that. When I first started my channel, I talked a lot about social media planners and I was getting lots and lots of views. Things were growing quickly. But I'm going to be honest with you, you can only talk about that so much. And I decided I wanted to reach the brand new YouTubers and help them find these little things that nobody really talks about. I'm not sitting here saying get millions of views and all that. Go to a guru, you know, and, and, and talk about that. What I'm showing you are these little um, different nuances within the system that a lot of people don't talk about and that that are hard to understand unless you watch a step-by-step -step video. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to show you the difference between the end screen and the card. I already showed you last week how to upload the end screen, but today I'm going to show you how to go in and put the card in. Okay, so let's get busy. Get yourself a cup of coffee. It's a step-by-step. -step. <laughs> so let's go. All right, here's an example of, I have another channel called My Amish Neighbor, and it's really just for fun because I live in Amish country and I just love taking video and I thought I would share. And this one here, if I hit the go button, my card is around 155. And what a card is, it's when you tell someone, hey, I just made a video about that. Do you want to go see it? And that's what happened here. Now I'm going to stop it. It says, um, it suggested, do the Amish have electricity? So on this one, I was talking about solar panels. And then I put a video that I had made earlier about electricity. Now I'm going to back up a little bit, show you at 156, about right there. I'm going to select it and show you what happens when you hit the, okay. So now I'm going to hit it and it takes you over here and I can go ahead and go to the new video. Now pros and cons with everything that you do. In this case, you just took them away from the video that you're watching and sent them to the other video. Now let me go back to the one that we were with originally. I'm going to stop this one. The good thing is you have two tabs. So at the top, I still have my old video right here. And then I have the other video. Now I'm going to continue to play this video and see what happens. So here's the new video playing. Now I can go back to my other video. The good thing is, yes, I took them off my video and I brought them to a new one, but all they have to do is stop this video, um, go back to the other tab right before, and you still see this video here. It's telling them, hey, you're over there watching that. Now notice down here, this video is not still playing. It stopped. So once I watch the other video, I can X this out and then come back and pick up where I left off. So I've had, um, I've heard other YouTubers saying, don't do that, it takes them away. But if you notice, it does take them away, but it does save the place of the old video. So it's not a bad thing. You know, they might be watching going, well, yeah, I, I wanna see what the electricity was like, and then I'll come back and talk about the solar. All right, so that's the card. They call it a card, okay? The next one is, an end screen. And again, I did show this last week. So I do have a link above where I go into detail with this. This is somebody else's channel and it's still loading. I apologize for the spinning there. But at the very end of the video, you have the opportunity to put some other videos to ask them to go to. So this person did a video and called, I got shunned, but not how you think. And then he put his video about why I left the Amish. So that, that goes together. And you might have watched the first one and go, well, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I want to keep going. You click it and it takes you right to the new video. Now I'm going to go, it's uh, muted for you, but you can now watch that new video. And this one does take you to the next video. It doesn't leave both tabs open because you're finished the other one. So that's what an end screen is. Again, think of your audience. You're trying to give them videos that are all interrelated and it will keep them watching. That's your goal so that they'll want to stick around, subscribe to your channel, or just keep watching your videos. Now, how do you do this? Um, when you go to upload a video, you're going to go back to your YouTube page and you're going to go up to here where it says upload. Okay. Create. It's got a little plus button. All right. And then sometimes a screen pops up and it says 
authenticate it you and I had to stop and do that with my phone. It's such a pain in the ass. I'm just being honest. All right. So I uploaded a video and in there, it's going to let you all the way at the end where it says visibility and whoops, not there video elements. I apologize for that. And right here it says add card. So we're going to add a card now in my video. It's already uploaded. I did it earlier. This is one from my other channel because you can't upload the same thing twice, but you can put a card in there, which is a link to a video, to a playlist and yes, to another channel. Now, remember there are people out there. If you look at some of the people that are getting millions of views, I actually did a video on the five top YouTube play, um, videos. I'll go ahead and put a link there, but it was amazing. A lot of them had nine and 10 different, um, channels and think about it. They can put a link in there to other channels to help people keep watching their stuff, whether it's on one channel or more. What I'm going to put here is just a video. You can also put a link in there. If you have a link that you want them to go to an external website. So you might say, Hey, go to my website. You can put there that there as well. So you have lots of choices here. I'm going to go in and get a video and oh, wait, not yet. Not yet. Let me come back out. Ah, I made a mistake. Let's X that out. I'm going to go down here and I have to decide where exactly am I putting it. Now you need to watch your video and get the exact number. You, you saw earlier that I said, watch this video. Well, I also had to edit all of that recording that I did and I had to take out all the empty stuff or if I made a mistake and stuff like that. And then I have to find the number and then I say, okay, this is where I want to add it. So there I have, I'm going to put a card in. Oh, that is actually, I was talking about end screen. So let's find another place. Let's. So let's say I want to put it there and I'm going to put a video in and I can pick a video famous Amish peanut butter. Okay. And there it is. See how it just goes in right at the top. There's the link and they just click it and then they can save it. You can put another one in if you want. What if I wanted to talk about all my YouTube tips I have for, um, new, YouTubers. So let's go back in. We can add another one. You can add as many as you want. Um, I wouldn't overkill it personally, but we're going to add a card and then a playlist. And then I can pick a playlist again. This is my Amish channel, so it's different. All right. And there's a playlist. Maybe I want them to go to that playlist about Amish businesses. Maybe, um, I did one, I haven't done one on the sawmill yet. When I do it, I can say, Hey, if you're interested in other businesses, go there. I like to put my playlist at the end, to be honest. And I like to put individual videos, um, inside on the cards. You can do whatever you want. All right. So we're going to just discard all that. And now I want to show you how you can edit a video. So you're saying, wait a minute, see, look what popped up, verify it you. I'm going to have to pause and verify that it's me again. All right, I'm back. I went to my content page in my Amish neighbor, and I'm going to just pick a video that I used to have, and I'll show you where to go in and edit. It looks the same, but I just want to make sure you can see. So let's go here. Um, how do the Amish get water to their house? We're going to open it up under edit you just go to your content um, selection on the left and then you're going to scroll down a little bit here and look on the left and here oh, on the right and it says subtitles and screen cards what you're doing is you're going in to edit the cards now i already have one in there so i'm not going to edit it but at the same what i wanted to show you is the same screen pops up you're going to either move this or type it in here where you want to put the card. Cause remember you went into your video and if it was one minute and 35 seconds, let me caution you. This is in minutes, seconds, the, the first two. Okay. And then you'll have the OO on the other side. you most likely won't even play with that. So put your one, then your 25 or whatever, and then it'll say 0.00. Okay. And that's it. You can see that up here. All right. That is how you put the end cards on there. If you have any questions, just let me know. I recommend that you use them, even if you're a small channel, big channel, whatever. But I find for me, look, think about yourself when you're scrolling and looking at other people's videos. If it's relevant, if it's tied into what I'm already watching, I am more apt to hit it. And like I said, I didn't hit them at first when they were cards because I thought, oh, I don't, I want to finish watching my video and it's going to disappear. It doesn't disappear. So hit those links for other people, watch the video, come back, exit out, and you can still watch it. So it's, it's really a good system and it helps you as a YouTuber to get people to watch more videos. Thank you for watching today. Give me a like, 
subscribe. Let me know um, what you think in the comments. If there's other things you want me to go over, please let me know. I am, I am, my mission is to help brand new YouTubers because I know when I started, I wasted a lot of time not knowing what I was doing. And sometimes, um, like I said, things got complicated when, when you just need that step-by-step -step stuff, you know, that keep it simple. That's my motto. I'm, I'm, I do teach third grade. <laughs> so I, I think that way, just keep it simple. And so that's what I want to do for you to help you get all up and running. So thank you and have a blessed day. <laughs>